but dozens of twisters leaving a trail of destruction. Senior national correspondent Steve Osinsami is in Alabama with the latest. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Michael. We are in rural Autauga County where several homes were destroyed and a number of people lost their lives. And as always, we find little pieces of life that are left behind. This is a holy Bible that I found here. It was left open. No doubt prayers are up for this community. This home that I'm standing around was blown off its foundation and then torn to bits directly behind me. The tornadoes and deadly winds that cut through the southeast have left a trail of heartache this morning. This was my mom's house, y'all. My sister lived in it. At least seven people in Georgia and Alabama did not make it through the night. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey declared a state of emergency for six counties after at least 23 reported tornadoes were seen in her state. Look at that tornado. In Selma, seen from the sky, this is what a tornado left of one neighborhood. And a few minutes later, in rural Otauga County, authorities confirmed that the same storm damaged or destroyed 40 to 50 homes. I just never thought I'd be in that kind of no, no. situation, but I know nobody does. Georgia was up next, where schools closed early to get kids home safely. Near Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, a confirmed tornado tore through a warehouse with workers inside who were praying for their lives. The door started to blow open because the wind was picking up, and then it flew all the way open, and I was trying to close it. The power went out, and then I just hear crashing. The storm flipped cars outside a Walmart and brought flooding rains to the region. We have seen... Um, Possibly 20 to 30 houses that have been destroyed from the tornado. This same storm system also left piles of ruin in central Kentucky. And in parts of Tennessee, the winds were strong enough to bring down the side of this brick building and crush any vehicle that stood in the way. The wind was blowing so hard today, you couldn't even hear the car alarm go off when the first car got smashed. Here in Alabama, there's a line of power crews that are already out this morning trying to restore power to this area, and they will certainly need it because now that this storm has passed, it has gotten really cold here, and now the storm continues to push north and east. Michael. All right, Steve, thank you so much for that.